Hi folks, uh, another ver uh, repair video on uh, an LG 37LF66 um, the problem with it is um, it's plugged in now and there's no light, uh, no standby light down there in the bottom left hand side um, just show you but what I am assured is by the customer when it warms up it does actually um, uh, come up uh, flashing red and it might yeah, eventually get a picture and shut down um, and various other problems um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, um, pause the video, take the back off the unit and um, have a look at the power supply to see can I see anything the back off and uh, I've just looked at the power supply and what I can see is we got a load of a few bulging caps on it as you can see there and uh, there's two and we got a few more up here there's another two and uh, so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to take that power supply out and uh, uh, put in new caps and see has it done any other damage capacitors can do other damage to firmware and um, EEPROMs so you might end up with a problem with your main board as well. Uh, so uh, it might be the end of it. But if you get them soon enough, uh, normally there's no problem with the, the main board. Now that's four screws out. But also we got a uh, a clip here in the center, right here in the center of here, plastic clip. Normally squeeze to get a plastic clip. Yeah. That's your power supply. Okay, I'm just going to reposition the camera now to start working the power supply. Capacitors that give the problem in this power supply. Um, uh, circuit reference numbers uh, C204, C205. They're 3300 UF. And then you got C225 and C215. They're 2002 UF. Uh, they're all 10 volt rate. Um, uh, I would put any uh, low ESR uh, type capacitor in there. Um, but the normal capacitor in a power supply is not all, normally a good thing. I would use a, at least a 105 degree capacitor. The other thing is uh, you got these reservoir capacitors here. These can store a charge um, uh, to about 300 volts. Um, let's see what we have across them. It might be discharged by now. hope it is. Yes, discharged. Okay, I've just double checked. Uh, but can uh, restore a charge and give you a nice little belt on it. Also, if you're not familiar with power supplies, um, they are dangerous to work on uh, for people not for, uh, used to working on power supplies. They do contain high voltages that can kill. So if you're in doubt, bring it to someone that knows what they're doing. Right, okay, we're going to start taking out these four capacitors here. Okay, we'll start by doing these two here. And uh, what I normally do is I freshen up the solder on it just makes it a little easier for me to uh, to uh, uh, desolder. Okay, let's start freshening up the solder. Okay, now using some solder wick to remove it, to remove the excess solder.
lead free solder it's very hard to remove sometimes Check and see it all loose. Okay. With a three thousand three hundred UF ten volt. Let's see. Yeah, one hundred and five degrees. And now we got our. 2,300, 2,200 I should say. Okay, I just get a few caps now for that. Okay, I got my capacitors and uh, what you must remember about putting electrolytic capacitors in is that they are polarised. Um, and you have a black notch on the uh, one side of the cap, which will go in line with this negative symbol here. Okay. These are slightly larger caps than the ones I took out. Um, these are rated at 10 volts. But there's uh, the physically uh, larger, so but they will fit. One cap in, two caps, third cap here, and the last one over here. Okay, what I do now is trim the leads. And I'm also going to start just clean some of the excess flux off the bone as well with some isopropyl alcohol. So you can see any other uh, problems, uh, like some loose connections or anything like that, that might cause a problem. Okay. 
uh, no other bulging caps that I can see uh, no burnt out components okay I'm going to put the power supply back in the, uh, the unit now just going to start it Leads in. Make sure they're fully home. Okay, what we do now is uh, we're going to reposition the camera and TV and see what happens. Okay, I got the uh, unit uh, uh, repositioned. I'm just going to plug it in now and uh, see what happens. Okay, as, as you can see there from the bottom right hand corner, the light is flashing. Well, not flashing, but on. Now I'm just going to take it out of standby. Light flashes. Our picture. Not a, a, a difficult repair for anyone that's got any soldering skills um, to remove um, capacitors and resolder them in. Um, just be careful of that mains reservoir capacitor, make sure it's discharged, uh, don't put your hand across it. Um, the, this particular board, uh, I had to set the uh, temperature of my uh, soldering iron to about 450 degrees because it, it did have problems in, uh, uh, um, melting the solder uh, on that particular board so I had to just turn up for I normally have it about 400 degrees that does me but this particular board uh, took on uh, 450 um, uh, I don't leave the iron on it too long uh, otherwise you're going to burn the print and uh, the PCB itself of course um, I hope that's of some help to someone out there, uh, some engineer or anyone that uh, wants to learn more about electronics. Thank you for watching.